My bike go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on my bike go round and round. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> What do you think of my bike? Hey, <laughs> I reckon it's the best bike in the world. <laughs> the wheels on my bike go round and round. Oh, oh no! Woo! What was that? Oh, hello everyone. Did you hear that noise? Oh, hello, small. Oh, it was my bike tire. Look, I've got a puncture. Oh no! We won't be able to go on our bike ride together, Ben, unless you pop on the back of my skateboard. Oh, ho, ho. oh ho, ho. very funny, small. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think I could fit on the back of small skateboard? We've got a customer, Ben. No time for skateboarding now. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Who, who, who is it, Small? I'll give you a clue, Ben. She's a lady, and she does this. She does this. Oh, who could that be? Oh, I know. Is it Davina the dancer? No, she does this. <laughs> beep 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 beep, and she stops to pick up passengers. Aha! Got it. Have you? She's a driver. Is she a bus driver? Yes, it's Betty the bus driver. Oh wow, Betty the bus driver. Oh, oh fantastic! I always wanted to be a bus driver when I was little. Oh, beep beep! All aboard! Tickets, please! Oh, so what can we cook for a bus driver? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Betty the bus driver was on her first journey of the day. She'd stopped to pick up a group of school children. They loved going to school on Betty's bus. Betty drove off. On the way to the school, there was a sign on the road that showed, "Road works ahead. Use different road." Oh dear," said Betty. "Now I'll have to go a different way. But don't worry, boys and girls. I'll get you to school on time." But I'll have to drive my bus along the coast road instead," she said, and off Betty drove. The children didn't mind though, because they loved driving along the coast road past the seaside. Whee! The children started singing, but as they were driving past the sea, they came across another sign in the road that showed, "Road works ahead. Use different road." Oh dear," said Betty. Now I'll have to go a different way, but I'll have to drive along the forest road instead. And off Betty drove. The children didn't mind though, because they loved driving through the forest, and they carried on singing. But as they were driving through the forest, they came across another sign in the road that showed, "Road works ahead. Use different road." Oh dear," said Betty. Now I don't know which way to go to get you all to school on time, and that's where I came in. Betty rang me on her mobile phone and told me she was lost. Wait there, I told Betty. I flew over the coast road, through the forest, then over a big bridge, which had cars and buses driving across it. Aha! I thought, that's the road to get to school. Then I landed on my spoon beside the bus, and all the children waved and cheered. Hooray! 
Straight away, I told Betty about the big bridge. And off she drove. Over the bridge, arriving at their school right on time. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Beep, beep. Way. So what did you think, Ben? Was I brilliant or what? Beep, beep. Ben. Ben. <laughs> Sorry, Small. What a brilliant journey those children had. And they still got to school on time. Yes, Ben. And it's time we put our thinking caps on. What can we cook for Betty the bus driver? I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Here we are, bagel wheels. Scrummily yummy. And they're just like the wheels on Betty's bus. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need strong plain flour. In the cupboard, there we go. Got it, small. Fast-acting dried yeast. Oh, fast-acting dried yeast. Yep. Olive oil. Here we are in the cupboard as well. Olive oil. Tomato puree. Tomato puree. Dried oregano. Dried oregano. Yep. Warm water. There we are. Got that small. And milk. Nice and cold milk. There we are. Did did it did it. There we go. Everything we need to make bagel wheels. Small. What exactly are bagels? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> well, why don't you whiz off and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm so excited! This man is weighing out the ingredients to make bagels. All the ingredients have to be mixed up. Wow! It's a really big mixer. When it's all mixed together, it looks like this. It's called dough. <laughs> the machine is stretching the dough. Now it's being made into bagel shapes. Whee! <laughs> Bagels are round with a hole in the middle. The bagels are put onto baking trays, ready for cooking. They're cooked in one of these big ovens. Look, the bagels are cooked. They've turned a lovely golden brown colour. Well, hey, that looks like fun. Whee! A wiggly snake. <laughs> They're all lined up, ready for packing. That was great fun. See you later. <laughs> the wheels on my bus go round and round, round and round. Well, hey, I'm back. I had a fantastic time, Ben. Ben! Ben! Oh, hello there, Small. How was your trip? It was bagel-tastic! I went to a factory where bagels are made. They're made from a dough and they're round with a hole in the middle. Sounds brilliant, but we better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our 
our cafe we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to bagel wheels? You do. There was strong plain flour, 250 grams. Fast acting dried yeast, 15 grams. Olive oil, 2 tablespoons. Tomato puree, 1 tablespoon. Dried oregano, 1 teaspoon. Mmm, oregano's a herb and it smells yummy. Warm water, 150 millilitres. And milk, a little for glazing. Whoopee, let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Gas mark eight. And this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because, remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Then, put the flour, the yeast and the oregano into a large bowl. Okie dokie, small. In goes the flour. Be careful, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now... In goes the oregano and the yeast and then we can give it a good old stir with a wooden spoon. Mix it all in together like this and when we've done that we're going to make a little well in the middle of the flour like this. And then we can pour in the warm water. The oil. And the tomato puree. Then give it all a good old stir. This is looking pretty good so far. I'm back! All clean! <laughs> oh, mix it all up. This is the bit I really love. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. I'll just clean myself up. Again! <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry again, Small. <laughs> I'll be very careful from now on. Right. When the dough's in a lump, we can take it out and then we're going to knead it on a board covered in flour until it goes smooth and elastic. And this is another bit I really like. <laughs> what are you doing, Ben? <laughs> I'm getting ready to knead the dough small. <laughs> Not with your knees, Ben. You knead dough with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I know, little cook. I was only having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Needy, needy, needy. Need, 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 need. OK. Ready. Now cut the dough into four pieces and roll each piece into a long sausage shape. Then attach the ends together to make a ring shape. And that's a bagel. Right. Now I'm sticking the ends of the bagel together like this so that they don't come apart. Now you may need to use a little water to do this bit. There we go. Ho oh, ho! These bagels look just like wheels. That's why they're called bagel wheels, Ben. <laughs> now you need to let them rest for ten minutes. <laughs> why? Are they tired? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's next, little cook? Okay. Now you need to heat up a large pan of water. Right, you are. Okay. Here we are. Turn on the heat. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job, and the hob is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> you having fun, little cook? Oh, yes. I want to be a bus driver, too. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's next in the recipe? When the water's boiling, you need to put the bagel rings into the water two at a time. You be careful on your bus there, Small. And you be careful putting the bagels in the water, Ben. Ha! <laughs> Small's right, actually. This is another job for your grown-up helper to do. Cook the bagels on one side 
for about 30 seconds and then turn them over using a slotted spoon and cook them on the other. They should start to go all puffy. Whoa, hey! This would make a really great steering wheel for a bus. That's a funny noise you're making there, little cook. That's because I'm driving a huge bus. <laughs> I've put the bagels onto a grease baking tray and I'm going to brush them with a little milk. This is called glazing and it'll make them go all shiny later on. So now we can pop them in the oven on the middle shelf for 15 minutes. So, oven gloves on, open the door, and in they go. There we are. So it's 15 minutes until they go all brown and shiny. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. There we are, cooked and cooled. What do you think of our bagel wheels, little Cook Small? They look bagel-licious, Big Cook Ben. Oh, <laughs> they certainly do. Bagel wheels coming through. Brum, brum, brum. <laughs> So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Betty the bus driver enjoyed her bagel wheels. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My bagel wheels were scrumptious. Woo! I heard Big Cook had a puncture on his bicycle. So here's a bicycle repair kit to mend it. Ho oh, ho, small! Now I can fix my puncher! Hey, Ben! Now we can go on our ride together! Yay! Yeah. Oh, hang on, small, there's more. It says, as you both would like to be bus drivers, why don't you both come for a ride on my bus very soon? Love from Betty the bus driver. Brilliant! A ride in Betty's bus! <laughs> <laughs> See you soon! <laughs> Welcome to our cafe.